Like the journey of a whole life, no journey within a life can be encompassed in a single telling. We have tried in this YouTube mini-series to give a sense, however brief and imperfect, of the spirit of our search after poetic dwelling. We're pausing this particular adventure on the water and the YouTube channel we created to document it in order to make room for a new adventure in the far north. This is neither the completion nor the end of our journey, but a new beginning within the arc of a life, the way a new year marks a distinct and different possibility within the flow of years. We're saying goodbye for now. Everything's covered up with a tarp to prevent water from coming in. Sun is setting over the bay and we're off to our next adventure. Okay, family, so here is the first attempt at the new house. So you see we've got the table, the chair, this is driving position. All right, so here is the transformation. Pull out the sides of the table. Very clever, right? Set down the back chairs. We lift this up and extend it to cover the table, making a nice flat surface. Unroll the bed, et voila, sleeping in the lap of luxury. I think we can actually sleep four across like so. Beautiful. And then if you're wondering what happened to the back, I built a little box so we can store stuff just under there. Sorry for the bad camera angle. Um, and the top does come off. You can lift it to access it. All right, so the floor rebuild is finally done. Look at that nice, beautiful floor. We have bookshelves. In the center, we have the head, which is pretty simple. Just a funnel that goes into a two gallon bucket. Here is a food storage box with a removable top for easy loading and unloading. And this is the piece de resistance, the new table, which opens up so that we can store dishes, spices, galley stuff inside, uh, and then pulls out to work in the same basic way that the old table did. With enough room to sit down and work at the bed at night if we need to. I know I can't sing, that's why I'm recording you. But don't try because yeah. you sound
Brandon <laughs> and we're turning back. <laughs> Sandy's hiding in Silicon. What? Sandy's hiding in Silicon. Uh, oh, okay. All right, so here's the car. The problem really is that tire right there, which is looking particularly loaded under all of our weight. It's time to get rid of more stuff. Oh, look how he is. Oh, come on. You want to give me a hug? You can stand up and give me a hug. All right, well, going on an airplane makes everything look nicer. Some 347 pounds of luggage, just over 50 pounds a person. I feel like we could do better than this, but we're headed to the Arctic. So it's 3.45 in the morning and our crew is not exactly ready to get moving and go on the plane. There's not enough blankets to hide. No. From the 3.48, 5 a.m. This is actually time to like walk out the door. Good morning, Timmy. No. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's not morning yet. It's the middle of the night. More than a decade ago, I wrote a poem in anticipation of a journey I had no idea would become a reality so many years later. It's from my first chapbook of poems called Leaf Scraps, which was my first attempt to give voice to our search after poetic dwelling. The poem is called Magnetic North. Disconnected now from time and from our usage, we are free to say what we mean to be how we are, which is always and only whole. The light of the world is fractured into rays that gather themselves like notes in the silent lecture of night. But even now, I know that light divides itself differently at the pole, where sometimes, in the rapid day turn, my six months night self longs to be. Changingness stretched out across half an orbit, as though the turn from night to day should take that long. And who could deny a night which, holding steady above the white world, falls in strips of color towards the snow, a green light rain like spring in a winter apparently without end. Drawings and your basic and your poems and all the oh, things you see. There's nothing more exciting than a blank page. Nothing more exciting than a blank page. You got it. <laughs>